dear students welcome to your educational channel learn and educate where we were studying a few basics about the foreign exchange management act continuing that series section 2 clause z a security security means the shares shares stock bonds and debentures which share are the ordinary where the person contributing in the form of shares money to the company would become the ordinary shareholder of the company where stock in bonds represents debentures are the loan to the company which is having a lien on the asset of the property of the company government securities which has been defined under the public debt act 1944 which means the government securities are issued for the purpose of raising loan public loan they may be in the form of bonds debenture stocks or in any other form which has been issued to the receiver and to raise the finance for the government Saving certificates, the Government Saving Certificates Act 1959, which means the certificate which has been issued pursuant to the Government Saving Certificate Act 1959. Deposit receipts in respect of the contributions made by the individuals for the purpose of savings, and these are been represented by the units of unit trust or the units of the mutual funds, and any certificate of title which has been issued for the purpose of security would be under the definition of security but this does not include the bill of exchange promissory note these are the negotiable instrument act which are not included under the definition of security but security includes the government promissory notes and another instrument which has been issued by the government and notified by the reserve bank of india as security for the purpose of the foreign exchange management act 1999